Hey, this is Andres Biegrins, and you are watching Warriors Weekly. One warrior that's been having one of his best seasons in the NBA is Corey Maggette. Tim Roy had a chance to sit down with Corey after a recent practice in part two of our Warriors profile. So right now sitting down with one of the hottest players in the NBA, and that is Corey Maggette. What has been the difference, you think, right now uh, for you? Why, why this level of play? Um, you know, like I say all the time, it's probably um, my change of thinking. Um, I always, you know, pretty much give my faith to the man upstairs who, who's definitely guided me through, you know, the ups and downs, uh, you know, from injuries here and there, and uh, from the hamstring from last year and the hamstring, you know, trying to battle that. Uh, then I had, you know, the wrist surgery in the summertime. So um, I had a different, different perspective uh, coming in and, um, and just another opportunity to just, you know, he's, he's letting me go out there and shine. And, um, and I say through the, through the end, I always get him to praise and everything's been going fine from there. You brought that up. How important is that to, to you? And, and was this something that, that came down from your family or? Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, of course it came from the family, but also, you, you know, you need your own, your own personal relationship. So, um, especially this year and the last season towards the end, it's, it's really been picking up where I've really been trying to concentrate mostly on that and, um, and, and let that lead me in the direction that I'm going. And it, it's been going okay. I, you know, it's, it's not just the basketball. Basketball is, is just an outlet right now. And it's um, actually, I, I consider giving God the glory, but, uh, but in all, man, I'm just really just trying to change my way of thinking, change the way I handle stuff, and uh, just trying to be the best man I can be out there. Do you consider yourself a spiritual person? Yeah, I mean, definitely. I'm, I try to be, man. I try to do the right things, and I mean, and it, you got to understand, no one's perfect. Um, but you really just got to go out there and, and believe in what you do, believe in the man upstairs to to handle any problems that I have or any issues and. I let, it, I let him control that, man. I let him control if, if I'm banged up or I let him control if I'm not shooting well or if my, my, my wrist is hurt, my knee is hurt, my ankle is hurt, my hamstrings hurt. Uh, but then I get up the next day, man, I'm fine, man. I'm, I'm ready to rock and roll and, and go out there and just get my all on the court. Now your mom is with uh, NBA Mothers. Yeah. And w what, what's her involvement there? Man, she does a lot of stuff, man, as well as uh, she hangs out a lot with uh, uh, Shaquille's mom as well as uh, Rashard Lewis' mom and Dwight's mom, and, and they do a lot uh, with the mothers. Uh, over the years, they had some, you wouldn't believe it, but they had some, some basketball games that, they, uh, that the parents played against each other, which was pretty funny. But, you know, it's just, you know, actually just trying to interact with, with the mothers around the league, and that's great, man. You need to have that, and also have an opportunity, as well as players, being able to interact with other players in the league, and, I mean, not just basketball, but just to be able to, to hang out there, hang out with them and, and do some other things outside of basketball. Is it hard sometimes when you're on the floor not to catch yourself watching Monte? Man, definitely, man. Especially when he's in the up, open court, you really don't know what to expect because he can do a array of moves. And then, you know, he come down and he has his, 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 his pad and spin. And then when he spins and he gets up in the air, he like he hangs in the air so long. And then he gives, the defender's a chance to come up and then if, if you really in tune to what he's doing, you know, he's going to dump the ball off and pass to you or he can make an, a, a circus shot. Last year we talked about how Ben McKay retired your jersey and this year a whole bunch of kids came out. Yeah, for the Chicago game we had a lot of kids who came out and also uh, a lot of the old uh, uh, graduates came in and, and um, came out and had some a good time and watched the game. So, I mean, it's great, man, to have to to get my jersey retired and then also have the support from uh, my old high school. What do you uh, what do you tell kids when you talk to them? Uh, faith, keeping your faith. Uh, I'm always listening to the coaching staff and being positive. I think, you know, I always tell even, you know, the reporters, I tell them, man, the biggest thing, we just need to stay positive through all this turmoil that's kind of going on with guys being banged up. You got to stay positive and also, you know, through through the darkness, there's always a light, man. It's always something that you can see. And, and through this, you know, we had, you know, have Monte who's really stepped up his game above. I mean, he's, you know, if you look at it, man, he's definitely one of the tier guys in the league. Uh, I think he would probably be a guy that probably should be 
you know, second team all NBA. I mean, it's a guy and he's leading in steals as well. So um, you have an opportunity and then other guys who are starting to improve as well. The way Stephen Curry has, has been playing, um, you know, if it's not, if it wasn't for, I think, Tyreek Evans, who's having an unbelievable year. I mean, this is a guy who will be there for rookie of the year as well. So uh, you got to have, it's always a light at the end of the tunnel. All right, Corey, thanks for the chat. No problem.